three. What's up, Red and Black Faithful? You're watching the football preview edition of Overtime with the Daily Aztec. It's Edward Lewis, Matt McClanahan, I'm Augustine Gonzalez, and uh, camp just wrapped up, guys. What, what are your thoughts on training camp? Yeah, I had the opportunity to cover this team last year, and a lot of guys are really cliche, they're robotic, their answers are always so tight and everything, and it just seemed so fake last season, and it showed on the field, they were 4-8. and eight. This year, though, you could, you could tell. The answers are from the heart, they mean business, they feel like they want to win, they feel like they can win, and it finally feels like, all right, we're not fake anymore, we can get it done. You know what, I, I think they believe. Edward, and uh, that's a hope rule. That is a hope rule. Uh, I think another another key. This isn't a hope rule, but another key is the fact that the offense and the defense are more oriented under a uh, second year of uh, being under offensive coordinator Al Borges and Rocket Long. Sure. All right, now let's get down to predictions. Um, Matt, who do you have as breakout player of the year for the Aztecs? Breakout player. It's got to be Andrew Preston on the defense. He only had 46 tackles last year, one sack. Throughout camp, he's been making plays in the backfield, and uh, he's had a few interceptions, so Andrew Preston's my guy. My guy is Alston Umulo, the tight end. Uh, Vincent Brown and DeMarco Sampson are the playmakers on this team, but everybody knows that. So they're going to be double covering those guys, which is going to leave the middle of the field wide open. Alston Umulo had 240 yards, 22 catches, three touchdowns last season. I could see him doubling that this year. Same goes for Dominique Sandifer. Sandifer as well, yes, sir. All right, and last year there were a lot of question marks for the team, everything from the kicking game to the pass rush. Edward, what's your biggest question mark heading into the season? It's got to be the kicking game again. Uh, they brought in a transfer, Abel Sanchez, Abel Perez, excuse me, uh, to, to kick field goals. Uh, apparently he can boom the ball, but he can't kick it straight. So they're going with Brian Shields to be the kickoff, or Brian Shields to be field goal guy, Abel Perez to be the kickoff guy. We're going to see how that works out. Neither of them kick very well in camp. I think it's I think it's got to be the rushing game. Uh, that's that's what all the coaches have been talking about over uh, camp. It's will we be able to run the ball? And I'm not so sure we can yet. Uh, they had some progress uh, with with Hillman, the freshman running back. He's been really impressive. But can the offensive line block? That's going to be run block at least. That's going to be the key this year. The big question mark. And we did only run for 78 point something. Yards per game last year. 116th so. in the nation. Yeah, right. horrible. Yeah. Okay. Horrible. So uh, getting down to the final prediction, prediction um, how about MVP and wins? Matt? MVP, Ryan Lindley. This, uh, the team has been on his shoulders for the past two seasons. I don't think that's going to change. Uh, I'd expect big things from Lindley being a second year under Borges' uh, offense. And your win total? I'd have to say, I think six and a half. Six and a half wins. If Vegas can do it, I can do it. So you're calling yeah. a whole game. Yes. All right. Cool. I have to say Ryan Lindley, too. I wanted to say Vincent Brown so bad here, but last season he went down with a thumb injury, and the team almost got better. DeMarco Sampson, Sandifer, Yamulo all stepped up. Ryan Lindley stepped up. It seemed like they got better without Vincent Brown because he's sort of a crutch. He's that good. Uh, so i got to go back with Ryan Lindley. Uh, he's, he's the key to everything. They're back with quarterbacks of uh, redshirt freshman Jake Bernards. I don't trust him. Um, so it's got to be Ryan Lindley. He's the MVP. I'm going six wins. I think they make a bowl game. First time since 1998. All right, guys, you heard it here first. Bowl game for the Aztecs this season. And that's all we got for you. Thanks for watching Overtime with the Daily Aztec.